All right, this is happening. Roll the tape. People think that we're father and son. Yeah. You got, you look just like your father. And then I'll just lip lock him right in front of them. <laughs> Can you imagine marrying someone 37 years older than you? If you're truly in love, does age really matter? I'm Kata Holy Kahashi, shit. and in this today's is gonna episode get of Split Decision, Holy we're focusing <laughs> on age gap couples. The first prompt is, my partner is the best I've ever had in bed. Make your split <laughs> decisions in three, two, one. All right, go ahead and turn around. Oh my wow. God, look how supportive <laughs> this is. <laughs> <one. laughs> Very sexually happy that? right now, Woo! okay. Cheryl, wait, you are it, wait, I'm pretty sure I saw her in a TV show called um, Ozark. I'm pretty sure she was in Ozark and she was the one growing the poppy fields. Right? I'm pretty sure that's her. And I'm pretty sure in Ozark, she also had a boyfriend who was like 30 years, maybe even 40 years younger than her. Am I right? Is the reason you got a tiny dick? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Dancing for joy. Right, why don't you go ahead and start? I keep her happy. <laughs> Sex is great with him. I was his first, which I didn't know. I'm gonna have to rise. This is gonna be tough. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna have to do some stretches. I don't know if I can get through this. This is gonna be tough. America's best aerobic athlete. Right. Oh. Wow. wow. Until later on. Was he good on the first time? Yes, and I would have never known. She should have known because when I first met her, we were in the bathroom and I forgot uh. what happened. I'm going to tell it. <laughs> but um, I pre ejaculated over her legs. Like, you know, I was. Just a few more stretches. I don't know about this. I really don't know about this. I'm not. Wow, Jeff, he's uh, Trey's the best you've ever been with, huh? Trey's, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that's saying something, because I'm a gay man and in the, you know, that's lived through the 80s, 90s, and the 2000s, mm. so that's a lot of guys. Mm. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, how old is she? I reckon she's uh, definitely, definitely 70s, right? There's, there's no way she's not. <laughs> That's a lot of dudes. That's what Heather said. Um, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. We met in my dorm room, and I want. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get. This is this is a 37 minute video, and I think it's going to take me about three hours to get through this. What in the fuck was that crusty old fucking 55 year old man doing in your dorm room? Is question number one. Explain what was going on in the dorm room. Wanted him, you know. The first thing on my mind was sex. And the first thing on your mind was sex. If I look at a girl or something, I was, you know, the, the whole thing that would go through mine is, damn, she's pretty. Or, oh my God, look at that ass. Or, oh my God, look at them shoulders. She must really be not sex. Sex! It's more passionate for me, and he mm. was the only person that really brought that energy that I like to bring. Whether it's mm. kissing, it's holding, right. it's just everything. It's sex. Kind of sex. Oh, yeah. I have had great other sexual experiences, and I wouldn't have gotten married as young as I did if I hadn't like had a life before that. Mm. But the connection. Who's the old one here? Who? Wh where's the? Which direction does the age gap go here? Hang on. I mean, <sighs> God. He's yes. definitely opened me up in more ways than one sexually. It's gonna be a three hour video. Okay, where does it hurt? Just all over. He really opens me up. And his face on the right hand side, you can literally see him going, hey! Literally, literally! <laughs> you know, which is always, always nice. Yeah, he did the foot. Hey! <laughs> And my name is John, and Hi, I'm John. 29 years old. Oh, we're getting numbers. And I'm Brian, I'm 63. That's, that's, they say 29, 63? 34? 34. To be fair to him, he looks very good for 64, doesn't he? He does look good for 64, or oh, 63. I think he's kept his hair, and he's, he's got that trimmed beard. He does look good. 
I, I thought he'd be in his 50s. I'm Cheryl McCain, and I'm 63 years old. Oh, God, she looks worse from that. <gasps> She's only 63. <clears throat> She's had a real tough life. That's... He's 63, and that guy from earlier, he's, what, was he 65? It's been 84 years. Oh, he's also 63. Brian is the same age as Cheryl. She does look a little bit like Cheryl Cole. I do see a lot of Cheryl Cole in her. They've got the same lines in the face. That's mad. I'm Talia, I'm 27. I'm Alejandro, I'm... She's 27. She's not 47. I'm 44 years old. And we are 16 years apart. Oh, that's not, that's not massive. That's not really that crazy, is it? Depends when they got together. Our age gap affects our political... I guess that's not been discussed at all. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, no. Everybody's on no, okay. Trump! <laughs> I totally get really? It. <laughs> Obviously. We don't discuss politics. No, we don't. People have different views yep. on different parts of life. So I feel yep. like even with my friends, I don't discuss politics with them because mm -hmm. whatever you like, I may not like, and I'm not gonna yep. judge you for whatever you like. So the grandma looks like the crypt keeper. She's not the mummy, she's not the crypt keeper, she's not the hag from Dead by Daylight. Will you be nice? He gets mad very, very fast. He has a very short temper. Mm. And sometimes he, lots of times, he takes me wrong. Mm. And he thinks maybe it's the things that I say and how I say them because I'm older. I don't know that I'm set in my ways. He hasn't lived as long and went through as much stuff as I've been through. So, and I was abused yeah. in my other relationships, physically, mentally, everything. So, and he's not, so, but it kind of, it bugs me because if you were physically or mentally abused, no matter what, if somebody yelled at you, like, I kind of like want to shrink up and like get like, you know, cover my face and, you know, it makes me feel less. And so what are you, what are you both doing about this right now? No, it, it sounds like maybe it's nice that she's got this guy. Maybe she deserved meeting somebody a million times younger. I yeah. feel like he could try harder in like including you in the conversation. I guess, I guess so, but also I know that you have your own things and space and that I need to give that to you. And I can't possibly learn 60 years of pop culture <laughs> like that, <laughs> so. Hmm. Trey. His best friend is an older white guy and we live with him. Sure. And whenever I go to any restaurant, you know, it's one black guy with two older white guys, so mm -hmm. already weird. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm thinking specifically about tonight. We're going to a Halloween party that is just his and, and his best friends, all their friends. So it's just going to be a black dot on an old white canvas. Mm. <laughs> and, you know, I don't mind it. But, of course, like, the question was, you know, do you feel out of place or do you feel like the outlier? I'm kind of am. I'm the 22 black kid in a room full of, like, 50... Decrepit old white people. Yeah, talking about pets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's oh, fucking great. Yeah. We met um, at Occidental College. 58 I and 22. Was graduate. I was not. And it was primarily a hookup. And we did that for a couple of weeks until we decided we want to make this a real thing. My family approves of my partner. Make your split decisions this in is a three, big one. two, one. Family acceptance. Back on. We got a lot of yes. <laughs> Just the one no from Darlene. But you know my Cheryl, family your family. Doesn't. No, it's just funny you're the only one over there. <laughs> well, my family doesn't approve of him. Uh -huh. And I don't care if they do or not. Like, I'm with him. Like, it doesn't make a difference. I don't, I have seven children. One child is there for both of us. Only one is, approves. Mm -hmm. Of the relationship. Yes. Because of. They call him the. Could you? What would you do? What would you do? Could you handle it if, say, your your mother or your grandma suddenly brought home a twenty two year old guy? Could you? Could you handle that? Brought home someone that's way younger than you. Because of. They call him the N word. Your other your ones. Kids do? Your your other kids. Yeah. Call him the N word. For no reason. I'm happy. I've showed them this. They don't care. They don't care about my happiness, apparently. I don't talk to seven, uh, six of 
Six of my children. Because of your own. Yeah. And it hurts me, but I That's love That's fucking mad, isn't it? It's not even anything to do with uh, his age. <clears throat> He's getting called out because of his race. How fucking ridiculous. I mean, she does seem like she lives in the hills somewhere where questionable activities may happen. I love them too. Where things might be a bit backwards. Ooh. But I love them from a distance. I'm not going to give up somebody that I've searched for all my life. That I found peace and everything. fucking shit. Her kids know the horrible stuff she's been through as well. And they can't just put that aside and be like, you know what? Your happiness should come first. It makes me want to cry. Right. When my kids go, I done did everything for them. I cannot do no more. Why can they not approve? It hurts me daily. How does that impact you? It makes me emotional. <laughs> like, really, like... Yeah. I ain't never felt love like that before, like... From the time I met her, she literally quit her job because they were racist and they said they didn't want an N-word dancing in the store. And she quit her job, just met her. I ain't been on her like, not but like a week or so. That was just pretty awesome. The fact that her own kids, they have called me the N-word and stuff, it hurts. Cause it's like, wow, like I do love her, but she's been abused. She's been married twice before me. The marriages were horrible. They beat her, they essayed her, took whenever they wanted. Me, I'm so passionate, it's when you want to. If you're not in the mood, I'm not in the mood. It's just, it's just stuff like that and it's just like, Yo, for her to tell her own kids, it's me, I'm choosing my happiness over y'all, because they're all grown, and it's, it's just the color and the age. The age really don't have a fit, because, mm. yeah, they're older than me, all of them are, but not her by much. I've, I've been with the younger guy before him. It was 27 years younger. This was a while back, but they approved him. He was white. So, and it's not about the age that they're upset about. It's race. I just, yeah. Wow. My family accepts Cheryl, though, wholeheartedly. She comes to the cookout barbecues. Yeah. And they treat her like normal. Yeah. They do. We dance I together all the time. the barbecue. <laughs> right. <laughs> the way they hurt her the most, because Cheryl's all for family, they didn't just stop talking to her. They would move her grandkids from her. It kills me yeah. that I can't see my grandkids. Oh. I really don't want to talk about it, but yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> can't see that. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. oh sorry. <laughs> oh, Jeff's so nice. Jeff's a sweetheart. <laughs> Poor woman. I often feel like no one understands our relationship. Okay, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> I was like, I do feel yes. Then again, I was like, I don't know. Cause I was like, we do get judged a lot for the age gap. Especially a lot of older women, they judge Cheryl cause they were like, oh, she's happy. She's getting that, you know, young, whatever, but. The young dick said. Yeah, they said I was he's dead. getting that young They put a whole thing and said I died on there. And that was, yeah. Yeah. They, they. They claimed I'm dead. Yeah, on the whole article. I had to come on there and say, no, I'm still alive. Like. Because they were angry about Yes. The age gap? Yes. That hurts me to hear that as someone else who is a content creator and puts out videos on YouTube. People didn't understand us, and I think putting our lives out there, people understand us more. Right. When I first came out to my mom, I said, hey mom, I'm gay, and I'm dating someone older than you. Wasn't me. That was, <laughs> it was with <laughs> my, <laughs> it was, it was my ex, and my mom called him a pedophile. My mom didn't at all understand. Jesus. Everything that I owned was thrown onto the front lawn of my ex's yard. And it took two years for my mom to really come around and understand things. And now I think being open and honest and just comfortable in my own skin, it, it has allowed others to see, I love this man and he yeah. loves me. And, and when people see that, they, they see the passion for each other. I think their, you know, their worries kind of melt away. This guy I think that's why in this relationship, in an age gap relationship, you have to cherish every day. Yeah. Yeah. And that's also, it makes it magical because you know there is somewhat of an expiration date on it. And while I don't think it would be fair to the children, yeah, it's also unfair to us. I think we would be awesome dads. Are you kidding me? It's, it's, it's something that I grapple with daily and I'm glad to hear that you would do it for me and with me. Mm -hmm. and like I said, I've seen you with the nieces and nephews, and you are a kick-ass human. Mm -hmm. and, uh. So, does our time here together change your answer? Yay. Awesome! <laughs> Jesus, so that was pretty easy. Right now that, mm, mm -hmm. I want to thank you all so much for sharing your insights with the world, because I really think you're going to make a huge difference for all of our viewers and everyone out there.